evening so yesterday we had a look at the uh k-line base overdrive um which was pretty go away which was pretty uninspiring um i looked at a few other videos uh on youtube and one of the guys was reviewing it he kind of said for this you know you might just want to keep it on all the time just to add a sort of flavor to your base which is yeah it's, it's maybe a reasonable comment um anyway tonight uh we've got the k line i think they're calling it the the press pass which is a base di and distortion uh comes with the obligatory nine volt adapter jobby some extra feet as all pedals do there we go this is a bigger format pedal i think the k line they maybe have the three formats i think there's an even bigger format so this is like the, the medium format pedal one wasn't. There she blows. So yeah, so slightly different cup of tea. This, um, yeah, the, yeah, the press, the press pass, because um, this is this is this is a DI uh, as well as a driver. It's saying, uh, hence XLR out. Um, so this is a slightly different cup of tea. Um, so what I'm thinking is this gives me another option, maybe possibly a better option for putting my bass into the board if I'm doing a Twitch gig or, or, or YouTube video maybe, um, compared to using the uh, the Korg board down there, which is a guitar board. Obviously this is designed for bass. Uh, controls we got, uh, top there we got a sort of three band EQ, um, bass, mid, high. Uh, we, got, we got a gain and a volume. And then that button is change gain ground lift. Well, I don't understand that. This is this button. So you can either have it. Mm, so it's like, mm, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't understand. So I understand you can have a ground lift, put the ground lift on, um, which is useful if you if you're getting um, some AC hum in your in your signal chain. That 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 is super useful. I don't understand what the off position means. Change change gain. I mean, it should. I guess it should either be the ground lift is on or it's off. I don't know. Um, but yeah, still container like all the K line pedals. Nice solid feeling button. All righty, got ourselves a bass. Got the Yamaha bass again. Um, Let's just give it. Let's just use the the P the P star pickup. Um, so going into the pedal over here, out of the pedal with the XLR into the board. Um, so it's it's not the pedal's not engaged. So we've got a basic sound. Yeah. Let's engage the pedal. Everything at twelve o'clock. So the, the volume is a bit like that um, bass overdrive pedal um, I reviewed earlier, where it's like, it's off, it's on, and it's a little bit louder. So there's not much control with the volume. Uh, EQ, so bass, bass cut. Bass boost. Mid cut. Treble, treble cut, treble boost, so we could dial in something that was like basted, boosted the bass, that sounds nice, I'd probably say if I take the tone out of the P-Star pickup. Sounds alright, doesn't it? 
um, it's a bit more mid, make it a bit more spanky. Let's try the J pickup with that more spanky sound. That's fine. Um, now we've got this gain gain uh, a dial. It just seems exactly that, really. Just yeah, just more gain. Not really overdrive or drive. I would say not really. Nothing any. I mean, I think that looks like. Any dirt you're hearing is probably clipping. Combined with the volume. Makes it louder. Yeah, that's, that's clipping now. So we can make a nice, we can, we can get a nice hot signal. Um, but that, yeah, that gain ain't really doing anything of interest. Um, let's try, so it's on, so the ground lift is on the change gain. Uh, so we've put the ground lift on. Off. On. So with the ground lift engaged, the sound's a bit quieter. But you can probably make up with the volume. I mean, I don't have any sort of ground loops. You know, the signal's pretty, pretty, pretty clean, so I don't really need that ground lift um, capability. But there are there are cases where you know, if you've got dimmer switches, etc., you know, a ground lift might be super, super useful for you. Um, so obviously, with this, we're just going straight in base DI board. Um, no other effects, but because it's going to the board, I've got an insert point on the mixer. Uh, so and we can mix in the lexicon so we can give it a bit of uh, a bit of large hall reverb combined with the di too much we could dial in some let's go tape delay set a nice low tempo way too much delay too much delay so a little bit of reverb a little bit of delay put that gain up a bit bring in both pickups take out some of that treble make it less honky Yeah, the J style pickup on this on this bass is, is is an acquired taste, or at least it sounds like that in with just with this DI box. P style pickup, it's nice.
notes without. So definitely the DI is giving that signal a big old boost up. Although I have to say, I could just put the gain up on the mixer. And I can also EQ it on the mixer. So that's without the DI. And it still sort of sounds fine. So, <laughs> you know, um, there we go. So I don't know whether, you know, you could think, you know, the, the, the DI, it doesn't impart any character to the sound. Uh, you could think it as is a good thing. So if you're going straight into a, say, DAW, you could then affect, you know, do any post-processing in the box. That'd be good. You don't necessarily want to want the pedal to, to colour the sound. You know, you want the pure sound of the bass coming into the mixer, into your DAW. That's good. But also you might think, well, you know, if I've got a, if I've got a DI box or a pedal in front of my bass, I want it to impart some interesting character, maybe warm the sound up in some way. Um, and that, yeah, it's got, I mean, it's got that gain setting, but it doesn't really impart any sort of pleasant character, in my opinion. Um, although, you know, it definitely does the job. Um, yeah, getting, getting a signal into your into your uh into you know into your mixer and at the very least what it'll do it'll go you know you've got your your, your quarter inch out of your instruments you know it will convert that to an xlr um to go into your mixer i mean most mixers will take will have those combi inputs would have like xlr or quarter inch so but you know it'll that um uh, press pass will set you back about 40 beer tokens so it's it's fairly inexpensive um even as di boxes go that's a fairly inexpensive di box all right um let's wrap this up so that's um sort of review sort of review i mean <laughs> it's not that in depth uh this is a press pass um i don't know i mean I'd, i think they call it a di and distortion i think that's what they call it but i'd call it a well, so it certainly is a, a base di pedal um it's also got a gain um but yep d does exactly what it says on the can um i was, I was pleasantly surprised to see it's got a nice xlr output that was a that, that was a bonus it's got a ground lift so in some situations that's going to that's going to be a um let's take these off that's going to be a lifesaver in the studio situation where you've got a really buzzy piece of equipment um i know i'm on the some of the volker uh, forums people talk about hissy volkers uh this might solve that problem um but we can well actually i mean i I've, I've don't have issues with my volkers my vocals aren't really hissy but we can certainly try this with the volkers um all right cheers folks <laughs>